Interview, Yasmin. The Queen Hotels on the oldest hotels. So you've got, so the cellar of the hotel goes from the top of City Road right down to the bottom where um, that pub is and the roundabout. You've yeah. got the turn in. Yeah. That's how long the cellar is. And I was down there once getting um, paper towels and me and my friend sort of wet their footprints going all the way down. So we followed them. Yeah. Or their footprints wet. And he went did you right. did you mop? No, no, no. You, no. Don't, you don't mop down the cellar at all. It's, it's oh. all concrete floor. No one gets down the cellar. No, no one can get down there unless you have a key. Oh. So we went down there and you could follow the footprints right the way down. And he went down to this very. You open the door, and all you see is dark, because it it it's not safe. Yeah. You're not allowed, to, and that's where the footprints stop. And it stopped up to a cellar door. Yeah. Like, what and year? Then, what year was it? Do you remember? The. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when it I, happened. I was, I was 16, so 2013. 2013. Yeah. How big were the footprints, can you... Massive. Big footprints. They were bigger than... I'm, I'm a size 3, I'm yeah. going to say they were about 11. About a size 11. Yeah. What time of year, you, can you remember? It was summer. In the summer. It was in the summer. Time? When I first started. Time? Half four. About half four. Yeah. Blimey. It was quite. It was one of them where you're like, oh shit, what's that? Um, so what then, was? Where was this? Is this is the hotel? This is the Queen Hotel by the station. Oh right, okay. Isn't that reported as the most haunted yeah. hotel within Chester itself? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty bad. We have um, we have in the old building. Yeah. There is um, it's called Virgin's Row. Yeah. And it's at the very top of the rooms, and yeah. it's at the very top of a winding staircase. Yeah. And I was working once and I heard a baby crying. Mm. And I didn't know at the time because I was still new. So I followed it all the way up and I heard a baby crying and crying and crying. So I went to the end of the room because I knew no one should have been in these rooms because I was due to clean them. Yeah. So I went into the room and then I knocked and went, hello, housekeeping. And the baby crying stopped. And then next minute the door knocked back, mimicked my knock. Yeah. So I was like, oh no. Someone's, uh, so I yeah. put my key in, opened the door, no one was in there. No one was in there? No. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. So I, I went down and told my manager and he went, oh yeah, that happens all the time. Oh, blimey. Um, I did the bridal suite once. Yeah. And I was cleaning and my, I used to have keys around my neck on a lanyard. Yeah. And I was cleaning the sink and it got y yanked, got yanked into Pulled the sink. Pulled into the sink. Yeah. Goodness me. Um, but on where the bridal room is, yeah. at the very end of the corridor, you smell chloroform. Oh, right. Um, and the, apparently something very aggressive lives there, so you get doors slammed in your face. A lot of girls get their hair pulled. Yeah. Um, you get, like, pushed into sinks. And then, but you also see kids on bikes. Is this is this all on the bridal? All on no, but nope. this is on the um. This is so the bri the Virgin Row. Yeah. Is at the very front, and then yeah. you've got the where the bridal suite is. Yeah. That's on the Queen's floor, yeah. so it's just the the floor below. The, so just below that. Yeah. That's where this. Yeah. And that's where all that happened, and I could smell the chloroform once, and I I got a door slammed. Oh goodness me. So I I never used to go on. So the, it was rooms three oh one. To 304, I refused. Now, the, the the baby crying is a big one. Yeah. Everyone's heard that. Yeah. Um, the, and the footprints as well. Yeah. Everyone's Down heard in the, the footprints. basement. Yeah. You, you see, a lot of people see women. Yeah. Um, and people have been chased by two dogs. Where where was that? So the, the Queen Hotel is split, split into two. So you've got yeah. the Queen building yeah. and you've got the Kings. Yeah. Now the Kings is actually a newer building. Um, and it's joined by a long corridor and someone, one of the guests, came running to the desk saying, I've just been chased by two massive black dogs. And we were like, we don't allow dogs in the building. Yeah. But they were convinced they heard barking, people heard barking. Would, also. would the staff actually write it down in any books or anything or did they just keep it to themselves? People did just keep it to themselves. They just kept themselves. Yeah, a lot of them don't like talking about it because it yeah. scares them. Yeah. I would book a room. Yeah. And just ask for the, the most haunted room. Which which would you say was, 
Oh, which one was the one where you said they were crying was? The baby? That's Virgin's Row. Yeah. They're business suites now. Oh, they're business ones now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, but I think that's the most haunted bit. I hated it. Yeah. Hated it. It's the only place I think I've ever worked where you constantly feel like you're being watched. Yeah. Didn't feel good at no. all. Yeah. yeah. You get your name so, shouted a lot as well. Yeah. Just, just random audio. Yeah. 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 You'll hear all sorts of noises. I never felt like I was on my own. Yeah. And I worked on my own because I was a night maid. So I worked in the evening. How long did you do it for, that uh, nightmare job? Three years. Three years. And it, it, this wasn't every night, though, was it? No, it no, no. But the girls night. that cleaned the day yeah. would hear the baby crying. During the day as well. Constantly. Apparently, um, one of the old lords of the manor yeah. had a mistress who he killed in, on Virgin's Row, and she had a baby, and that's what you can hear her crying. Crying through the night. Yeah. Through the day as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's so, you know, like a proper newborn cry. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's like. High pitched yeah. baby. Yeah. You hear it sometimes and it's that real, you just take no notice of it because you just think. Because you know that it's not going to be anything there. Yeah. You, you got so used to it, you're going back and. Yeah. yeah. But it's quite. Can... The porters get the most, I think, the ones that work through the night, yeah. the night porters, because they, a lot of them refuse to walk on their own everywhere. They're quite. Yeah. They've experience they don't yeah. want to keep experience the same yeah, yeah there's apparently there's two kids on the first floor of the queen yeah suite yeah um but they're apparently they just like running around and playing games yeah they'll take your keys are they would they be in the same areas where the hair's getting pulled or is that yeah just, yeah so it could be childish yeah. uh, attention seeking sort of thing but when, when you get when i got pulled into the sink that's not really childish that wasn't, attention that's sinking, quite is it? That's quite a, but yeah. the that's why you smell chlorophyll. Is that in the same? Is that in the same part where that childish? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if something happened then. Yeah, the the history is quite. Um, I think if you you can read a lot of stories because a lot of we do a lot of ghost hunt like a lot of ghost hunters come. Yeah. And they don't come back. Yeah, they've they've they experienced something. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. But there's something really not nice like where it, it it really i think it smells like bleach yeah and someone might know that's that's the that's what people say is the smell of chlorophyll yeah. and it's so strong it knocks you dizzy yeah makes you it knocks you off your feet yeah that'd be worth um but it was only the women that would it's like someone does not like women on that wing yeah and there's a whistle sound you always well. hear man whistling down the cellar as well down in the cellar Bad. <laughs> I used to wait for someone. Are you going down the cellar, right? Yeah, I need to go. <laughs> well, it says something in itself, though, doesn't it? When you have to wait for someone to. Yeah. The footprints. I wasn't. I wasn't scared. It was just the fact that it was. What the hell is someone doing down here barefoot? Yeah. And why are they wet? There was no. There was no. There's no water. No just, water just, at just, all in the cellar. No, so it's just a, a dry cellar floor, they, except for these water. Yeah. So. And they started from. The stairs. From the stairs. So, so it says someone's come down the stairs. You open the cellar door yeah. and you're immediately met by stairs and then there's another door. Yeah. So as you got to the stairs, you could see the wet footprints at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. You open this big black heavy cellar door that you had to hook onto the concrete wall and there's no lights. So it's all just concrete. So the lights are only in the separate rooms where we've got the storage and the cleaning facilities, like yeah. for laundry. Yeah. Everything else is just concrete. And they were just wet footprints and we followed them. Because they were massive. I've only got tiny feet and I remember thinking, oh my God, these are massive. This is a big man. So the, the way the cellar is, it goes all the way down and you physically can only get so far because then it's just, there's a <laughs> there's a sheet, like a, a, a metal sheet that you move. Yeah. And it's just a black hole <laughs> that goes for miles. Let me fall back. No idea. They said it was like a... So you know you you know the whole of City Road? Yeah. It's right from the top of City Road. Yeah. Right the way down to so you know where the subway is. Yeah. To there. That's how long it goes. So it goes so it goes all the way through. The whole street. It's the whole of the street then. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just tunnel, yeah. tunnel underneath the I wonder what that was for. When I was there, they'd only um like so the investigated half of it because they just didn't want to chance it because it went that deep and that far they don't actually know where it ends 
Yeah. Oh, so the subway is just up by the roundabout. Yeah. So they actually, they actually. That's how far it is. They actually sent or allowed um, investigators to go into the tunnel. Itself. This was when they were. This was like years ago. From what I was yeah. told, they want. just wanted to see how far it went. Yeah. And they never got to the end. <laughs> they, and they don't know why. It probably, there. it probably got now more narrow, and they yeah. thought it was head back <laughs> before we get right. stuck. But it, it goes both directions as well. That's about the. Mm. In so that one direction, then that's about the length of two football fields. Yeah, so that's just one direction, and then it actually springs off. So that's when you turn left, right down to the, the roundabout. There's another tunnel that goes straight on, but because of the train station now. That's been like blocked up. Oh, so you don't know where it goes. Mm. And then there's another one that goes all the way round, but again that was blocked off, blocked off because of the, um, you know, the bridge. Yeah. In on Brooks, not on Brooks Street. I don't know what it's called about. Um, where all where you've got like all them shops near the station. By Stanley. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. you've got that little bridge now, yeah. haven't you? So that's been blocked off from the bridge. From that, but that's that how point. It... Well, thank you very much.